Hi guys, so this video is going to be a wig review and it's the one I'm wearing obviously. So let's get into it. Um, it's going to be an honest review so I'm not being paid or anything. This was sent to me for free from Hia Hair and the link will be in the description. Before I get into my opinions about it or whatever, I wanted to give you the specs. This is a heat safe synthetic synth heat safe synthetic lace front wig it has a cap size of 22.5 inches it is a 24 inch with 150 through 180 density it can be used with heat tools on a low to medium temperature and there is 1.5 inches of deep parting space they sell this on Amazon too, that's where I got it. Um, and so yeah, my opinions on the wig. So, oh by the way, the wig does have some rootage because I added it with um, this root cover up by L'Oreal in dark brown. And I added it because I wanted to make it look a little bit more natural. So I didn't do like the best job, but I still don't mind it. So my opinions on this wig. Um, let me go into the pros and cons. So the, the first pro, I really, really like the cap size. I think that it fits my head perfect and it's probably the best fitting wig size, wig cap size that I've ever worn on any of my wigs other than my blonde one, my curly blonde one because that one fits really well too. But I love the size of this cap because it just fits so well and I wish other wig companies could have it this size because my head is a little bit bigger. I also really think the color is pretty. I love this pale pink. I feel like it looks pretty good with my skin tone. I don't know because I'm really pale. But yeah, let's, let me get into the cons. So, the first con is that I don't think you could wear this without a hat or something on your head, on the top of your head like this. And let me show you. Yes, my ombre that I did is a little jank, um, but I can redo it if I want because it washes out. But the, the hairline itself is like really weird. I don't know, like, sorry, my hat is like pressed on my head. It does a weird thing where like the actual like top of your head clumps up a lot because there's so much hair that it makes it a little bumpy. And the actual like part is weird too because I tried doing a side part because it says you, ha you can like change the parting space but you kind of can't because it it like it's like really thin in the middle but then on the, uh, the other side it's like super thick so there's not really room for a parting space if that makes sense so yeah I just think it looks kind of weird without a hat or something on top of it to cover that up so yeah I'm not going to be wearing it without a hat also this hair is really tangly, like I have to constantly brush it to look like this. If I took it off for like one second and it was super tangled, like there's no way you could wear this like out in the wind and stuff without it being like super tangly. This wig I feel like would be really good for cosplaying or pictures on Instagram. It is ch more ex inexpensive than other synthetic wigs on the market. I do believe it's on sale for like $69 or something like that. So it is cheaper than other synthetic wigs I own um, and you do get what you pay for but I think it's really cute for pictures but for everyday wear which is what I like wigs for. I don't think I can wear this for everyday wear um, just because it's too tangly. Maybe if I like trimmed it or something, but oh, and I do really like how long it is. It is pretty long, like 
goes down to like my waist. So I do really like that, but it's tangly, so. Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, let me know what you think and I'll talk to you guys later.